I don't think I'm surprising anyone when I'm going to say that Rama is one of the best hunters in the game right now, so if you're going to be playing him anyway, you might as well understand what he does. Hello there everyone, it's me, Celtic, your Smite Professor, here today to talk about Rama, the auto attack based hunter. And I say that because he is the only hunter in the game that has all of his abilities directly impacting his auto attacks. Now let's dive into what these abilities actually do. Starting with Rama's passive, he has this special quiver, and this quiver contains astral arrows. Astral arrows are consumed by the rest of Rama's kit, and basically every 12 seconds you get another arrow to work with, and as long as you're hitting auto attacks, this cooldown is significantly reduced. Now, further to this, whenever you consume an astral arrow, and we will get to that, you are going to have a percent chance to leave an arrow on the ground. If you pick up these arrows by physically walking into it, you are going to restore some mana. That's the passive. It feeds into the rest of his kit, but let's talk about the rest of his kit. For Rama's first ability, he equips these astral arrows and can continue to fire this more powerful shot as long as there are astral arrows in his quiver. This more powerful shot deals, you know, minor bonus damage, but what's important here is it actually is a piercing auto attack that is going to go through everything in a line and everything that this increased arrow hits is going to slow the target for an increasing slow, which at max stacks slows for 30%. What is important to note here is you can toggle in and out of this enhanced arrow firing stance, or if you do not have any astral arrows, then you're automatically kicked out of it. Rama's second ability is an attack speed steroid, so he's going to be gaining 50% more attack speed at max rank. What's important to note about this ability is for every three auto attacks that you hit on an enemy god, you are going to automatically get another astral arrow. Rama's third ability is a roll. Now, Rama can roll in whatever direction is being inputted either on your keyboard or on your controller. After this roll goes off, his next auto attack gets enhanced features. It gets three of them. First, you incur no movement penalty when you fire this auto attack. Second, it's going to fire off and have bonus damage attached to it. And third, the target that it does hit is going to be crippled for two seconds at max rank. Now, mostly this is used as an escape and repositioning tool, but it does have moments where you can go and dive in aggressively and really keep the target that you and your team are looking to pin down, pinned down with that cripple. Now, finally, we have Rama's ultimate, the Montage Maker. You guys have probably seen it at some point, but basically Rama goes up into the air, he is untargetable, and then he can fire down three shots. These are all skill shots, but each shot has a, you know, a circle, and each progressing shot has a smaller circle. Each circle does damage. The smaller the circle is, the more damage that does. If you hit all three shots, they it, it's doing a lot of damage it's a, it's a pretty strong ability it's great at keeping him safe and what i should note here is you can actually cancel this ability early to really play mind games you do not have to fire all three shots so if you are looking to get out in a pinch you could go up fire one shot and then cancel this ability and roll the hell away it really can keep people on their toes now let's talk about a build the build i recommend for rama is going to be on your screen now and it is the meta hunter build this is the build that has dictated the hunter meta and it's the reason we don't see gods like chiron in the pro league this gives you the most tank shred this gives you the most objective damage and you're still relevant when you need to fight a squishy this build and the reason why it's so good is it turns your second ability away from an attack speed steroid and into a power steroid. With Silver Branch Bow, whenever you are above 2.5 per attacks per second, you are going to basically convert that additional attack speed into power. So since with this build you have 2.5 attack speed, your attack speed steroid second ability just straight up re increases your attack power. It's really good. That is why... We build this build on characters like Artemis and Chernabog. That is why. It's so good. Final word of advice. This character is seen as a late game hyper carry, so just get your items online, farm up, and look to dominate the team fighting phase. But that is really all the time that I have to talk about Rama. If you liked this video, subscribe to this channel. We do stuff like this constantly. Now, if you want to keep learning Smite with me right now, click that video on your screen and I will see you there. Otherwise, 
Have yourselves a casual day, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.